Linda Nowak, I directed The Subject Was Roses, or I am directing The Subject Was Roses. This is my first directorial endeavor here at the Dayton Theatre Guild. I did set for 100 Saints You Should Know. I assisted director uh, Opus. I acted in Independence, Blue Moon Dancing, and The Oldest Profession. Hi there, my name is Jeff Berkman, and this is my latest production at the Dayton Theatre Guild. I am playing John Cleary. He is the patriarch of the family. Uh, the basic setup is that uh, their only son has just returned from World War II, and basically, what should I say? He's uh, left one battlefield and is about to enter another one. Hello, I'm Angela Riley, and I'll be playing Nettie Cleary in the production of The Subject Was Roses. This is my first time on the Theater Guild stage. I have also done area shows. My latest has been at the Playhouse South. I was Lady Beaconsfield in Jekyll and Hyde. I also have been a member of the Dayton Philharmonic Chorus since 2006. I am involved with the Epilepsy Foundation. We're starting an a, a art therapy group there with theater, painting, music, and so many different things that can bring a lot of comfort and confidence to people that have disabilities, especially with epilepsy. My name is Alexander Chilton, and I'm playing Timmy Cleary. So I am a uh, student, I'm a senior English major at the University of Dayton right now. I, I, I've been acting in the University of Dayton's main stage theater productions for four years. Uh, I've played in several shows there. Uh, most recently, credits include uh, Antigone uh, and uh, The Zoo Story is another show. And I love acting as much as I like directing, but I particularly love directing this particular piece because, well, it didn't win the Pulitzer Prize for nothing. It's one of the uh, earlier modern looks at, uh, shall we say, um, dysfunctional families. Uh, it has three very real characters in it, um, and I think that people will be able to relate to all three of those characters in one way or another. Uh, all three of them are, of course, gloriously flawed. This is such a deep level play and uh, of course movie script that uh, Nettie goes into a lot of the underlying issues that are in a family. No matter which family it is, there's always underlying issues there and um, it has always intrigued me. So I wanted to come out and explore those things. Timmy is a returning vet from uh, serving, just recently serving in World War II. Uh, he's returning from uh, war at, at the age of 21, and uh, he's done a lot of changing, a lot of growing up back uh, on the front lines. And um, it's uh, interesting his role in the show. He's uh, coming back to his parents' house and uh, is interacting with his mother and father, like after all his experiences. And it's uh, uh, a big part about him is the amount of growth he's done and. Uh, but also the amount of regression he goes back into once he's back at home and sort of how he has to reconcile his past and move on with his future. This is a beautifully written piece. It's timeless. I know some people like to think of old chestnuts when they think of the subject was roses, but there's something very compelling about this family under these circumstances that goes beyond time and date. And, a particular war. It is about loss. It is about the fear of change that sometimes we're more comfortable holding on to something sad or hurtful because it's familiar. We see these characters at different moments for each one of them where they have to let go of an old hurt, of a dream, of the wish for a happy childhood, um, love. I have had a wonderful experience with this cast and crew. 
and the director. I cannot say enough for this group. They have all been fabulous throughout this whole experience. Because it's such a small cast, um, I, I, I've been getting to know my, my fellow cast members uh, quite, quite well. Uh, it's, uh, our characters by nature have, are very close you know, in relationships because we're a family. Um, but we've been starting to grow closer, I dare say, as a family uh, over the past couple weeks of uh, rehearsal. And uh, it's, uh, it's been a pleasure getting to know them, both as people and as actors. This is an amazing crew, an amazing cast who had immediate connection, first read through. Um, there was actual depth of feeling for each other, very much like a family. The crew is outstanding, outstanding. I think everyone should come to see this production because it, it really can touch the heart. The, the writing does speak for itself though. It's a moving piece, brilliant piece, I think. Uh, and, uh, but uh, aside from its accolades, um, it's uh, also, like I said before, even though it's, uh, it takes place in uh, 1946 after World War II, it's got these uh, transcendent values about uh, about family and about relationships and about acceptance and love and um, uh, life and just it's so poignant and, and it's like although uh, the playwright wrote this play with, with, with his specific set of characters in mind, um, partly I think based off his own family, um, it's you can see uh, a lot of your own family in there. And I certainly do because it's a great show. Simple as that. Great acting, great script, great story. There's a story of hope of redemption, if not even redemption, and we often use a little bit of that, especially in the middle of the winter. Um, and to see something nearly perfectly written. This is nearly a perfect play. And it's done brilliantly, what can I say?